89.3 and 88.5 Yes FM. Online at www.yeshome.com. Now on the free Yes FM iTunes app and the Yes FM Android app or the free tune in radio app. Search Yes FM Lima. On the phone lines, we have Sean Hayes, who's a youth speaker and also a chalk artist amongst his many talents uh, from the Chicagoland area. And uh, Sean, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's so good to be here. All right, Sean, we're going to turn things over to you and let us or let you give us the message. All right, gut check. Here we go. When I was a teenager going through suicidal bouts and depression, when I was going through all kinds of intense, uh, oppressive and abusive situations in my life, God stepped into my life and changed everything. He came in and saved me from a life of despair and anger and bitterness and a disruptive mental state. Since then, I have learned that I need to put my full trust in Him, not just for my salvation and not just to achieve things in my ministry, but to literally just get through the day. I go back to this for my gut check. Jesus Christ died on the cross for me, and He died so that I wouldn't have to. There was a time, not only as a teenager, but as a minister, as I became an adult, that I became suicidal and I became frustrated with my life. And I realized that my life was riddled with fear, riddled with doubt. And I realized once again that without Jesus in my life, without trusting Him every single day for my strength, I am weak and the chiefest of all sinners. And I will not achieve anything in this world. I will not be happy unless I know that God is using me. And I know that he is the one who has put his hand on me and called me forth to be something completely different than everybody else in the crowd. He designed me different. He made me who I am. When I forget that, I lose my way. This is my gut check. This is what I come back to every single time. It is in the word of God that every man has sinned. Every woman has sinned. And we all need a Savior. But those of us who call Jesus our Savior already, those of us who have grown and prospered in Him, those of us who have had our lives completely changed and turned around for the better in a miraculous way, we still need Him today. We still need Him to show up in the same power and the same glory that rose Him from the dead after being crucified on the cross. This is my gut check, and it's what I have to do even today, and I'll do it again tomorrow. I'll go back to the Word of God. I pray for every single person that's out there today that you would go to the Word of God and that you would look and see what He has to say for you right now with your situation, where you're at, where you're frustrated. Let God be your go-to place every day, your gut check and your reality. Thank you for letting me speak to you. Thank you so much, Sean. And uh, can you pray for our listeners? Yes, ma'am. Father God, right now, I ask that every single listener right now, wherever they're at, even if they can't close their eyes, even if they can't get away from all the noise, Lord, that you would wrestle with their spirit right now and that you would arrest them in the sense that you cause them to look at their situation through your eyes once again, Lord, or for the first time. And if they don't know you, that, Lord, they would start to begin to see the way that you see this world, that you see them and their life, and that they would place their trust in you, and that they would begin to say every single day, Jesus, I believe in you. I trust in you. I want the best that you have for me, whatever sacrifice that requires of me. And I pray, God, that you would change not only their lives, but the lives of their families and their friends and the people in their community through their lives as they trust in you. Father God, I pray that you would put a special anointing on the listeners of this radio station, that they would be blessed every day they turn tune into it, and that every single day, Lord, that the ministry that happens through the station to them would be passed on to people like a ripple effect around them, that they would become effective people for your spirit to move through them. And I just pray this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 
Amen. Once again, we're talking to Sean Hayes, who is a youth speaker and also a chalk, chalk artist, if I can get that out, and uh, chalk rock. Sean, in a nutshell, can you describe what chalk rock is? Chalk rock is a presentation that uh, I developed along with some friends about 12 to 15 years ago. Uh, we were floor cleaners. Uh, we were talking about God in the city of Chicago on cold, windy, icy nights. I'm sure we can all relate to that about now. And uh, we just were looking for some direction and some purpose in life. And uh, one of my friends came to me and said, I saw somebody do chalk art. And I thought it was so cool. And as we tried to develop into into a ministry, into a something that this generation could grab hold of, I took it to a whole other level and turned it into such a uh, fast performance. Um, I take black bed sheets and draw with highly pigmented bright chalk set to music, set to worship music and uh, Christian rock music. And I do these performances all over the country and then I share my testimony. But the chalk itself goes so fast that I had several people tell me that the punk rock influence on my life from way back was having an effect on my artwork and, and causing this am amazing show to be done. And we stopped calling it chalk artwork and we just started calling it chalk rock because it was something so powerful. It went beyond just a fast presentation and a awe-inspiring uh, detailed work of art at the end of say eight to 10 minutes. But we literally saw people just sitting there in tears, weeping when it was done, saying, I will never be the same. God somehow used this chalk, this simple, foolish element to change my life today. And we've been just praying for years. God will just continue to use the ministry, continue to use my testimony and, and his touch on my life to change people's lives all over the place. And he is still doing it and making it something special. If people wanted to find out more about you, your testimony, and uh, the ministry of uh, Chalk Rock, where can they go and find you online? Uh, they can actually go to my website, which is seanhayes.com. It's spelled S-H-A-U for unique, N, and H-A-Y-S. There is no E in Hayes. So it's seanhayes.com, and you can go there today and uh, contact me through that website. I'm also on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, um, Instagram, all of those just under Sean Hayes, spelled F-H-A-U-N-H-A-Y-S. Thank you so much for uh, taking some time out and uh, giving us your message and letting us know about Shock Rock. And uh, we just pray that uh, as you continue to go out throughout the country that uh, the people are just, they continue to weep, they continue to be affected by uh, your special talent. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, April. It was great to be here. Thanks, Sean. Yes, FM.